Hey guys, this is Dr. Milos Ljubic speaking. This is a stay at home, be safe edition. Uh, a lot of you guys asked me about uh, my personal way, uh, my personal use of uh, twin flashes in dental photography. So today I'm going to talk about uh, maybe the most popular twin flash that is Meike MT24. Uh, I'm going to use it on my, my main camera. This is Nikon D800 with a um, maybe the best lens, this is the best lens for Nikon, uh, 105 macro VRG lens. If you like this video or don't like it, just put a comment on it, visit my page, maybe you find some other stuff that you find it interesting for your dental con uh, photography. <laughs> Cheers! Okay, so this is the equipment that we are going to use today. Uh, as I said, this is my main camera. It's a full frame camera, Nikon D800. It's a little bit different from the most of the other DSLRs that are less expensive than this one. The main difference is that I have one dial and you don't have the knob here, so you can use it a little bit differently, but I will show you my settings on this camera. And we will pretend that I just bought the uh, flashes today, so I will leave everything, all the settings in default mode. So the first thing you need to choose is this plastic adapter. Uh, since I'm using the Nikon's 105 macro lens, uh, the diameter of this lens is 40, uh, 62 millimeters. So I will choose this one and screw it on the front of the lens. So I can use, use it to mount this plastic ring which will hold my flashes on each side because this is a twin flash. And I will mount it like this. Uh, this is the setup I'm actually using. I, I like to keep my things uh, fast and easy so I can be more efficient. So, uh, and this is the central unit that goes on the hot shoe of any camera. So I, I will mount it on. So, uh, when I first turn on the camera, I will use it on manual mode. So this is a little bit, maybe a little bit confusing for you because you have a knob here, which you must uh, put it on manual mode, the M mode. So I will show you the settings of the camera. Uh, I will use the shutter speed of uh, 125 of a second and I will use uh, aperture of F25. 25. And for the ISO, I will use 200. It's okay for me. So these are the flashes. You have a couple of buttons of them, but we will keep this basic as we're going to use it in dental photography. This is the power button. If you press it and keep it pressed for a couple of seconds, the flash will turn on. Same on the other side. And what we have here is another button, GP button, which selects the groups. You can see the groups here, A, B, C. And when I press the button, it selects the groups. I will get that, uh, to that thing in a couple of seconds, in a minute. Uh, this is the central unit. Just press the power button and hold it until it turns on. Uh, this is the thing with this flash, the central unit. If you press uh, the power button another time, I'm oh, sorry, you get these two uh, screens. One is for slave and one is the master screen. In dental photography, you, we will use only the master screen. So keep this screen, screen on. So we have a couple of lines here and they say groups A, B, C. So I will leave the group A, I'm sorry, I will leave the group A on TTL mode and I will tell you a little bit about TTL. TTL is a uh, through the lens mode. It's an automatic mode where the flash decided how much power, how much light will it give you. Uh, the flash is going to read the settings that we made on the camera. So the flash will decide how much power do we need. So you have to note that uh, all of these flashes are not made only for dental photography. They're made for photography, macro photography in general. So you have to keep in mind that if you're going to use on TTL, you won't get uh, always the same results, especially because uh, we are mostly doing the photos intraoral where we have teeth and teeth are 
always white and they're very reflecting so you will have most of the time overexposed images so we need to tweak it a little bit and I will show, show you how to use it if you want to use it in TTL mode. Uh, so we have this button set when we press it I'm going to change the group A actually I'm going to leave it on TTL in automatic mode and the other thing this is the exposure compensation this is the way you're telling your flash even though it's in automatic mode you can tune it down or tune it up to give you more power for your settings or the less power for your settings and since I'm using the flash uh, the lens sorry uh, 105 I will find my uh, focal length in these options 105 so just to show it to you how I will leave this exposure button at the zero this is the, the default what you get when you bought the flashes. So I'm keeping my camera and at, I think you will see this better this way, at shutter speed 125 of a second, F aperture 25, and ISO 200. And I will make a photo so I can show it to you what, what results do we get now. I will put my lens on manual mode because most of you guys are using it that way, but I will do my best to be as fast as possible with a manual focusing, but uh, note how much time do I need to, to make a picture for it. So I will make the first picture. So I made the first picture. Uh, I will upload the pictures so you can see them better and compare them. But uh, to me, uh, this picture is a little overexposed. So if I'm going to keep using my flash on the TTL, the automatic mode, I will ha have to tune the exposure compensation button just a little bit. I will uh, put it on minus one and just to see what we are going to get in this way. And if we compare these pictures, uh, you can see with the histogram that the first image is a little bit overexposed and the second one is just the right. So what is the thing in using the flash in TTL mode? Uh, this is the, the perfect conditions for this model and for me to, to photograph it. Uh, it's not going to be that way always when you're using it. In, uh, for the clinical documentations because every patient is a, is a story for himself and it's a different story and you have a lot of obstacles that are going to come by in the way of your flashes so the TTL mode is not the perfect one but it's the easiest one to use if you're, especially if you're a beginner in, in dental photography and especially if you just started using these flashes so I would suggest you to, to use it on TTL at the moment uh, for the starts and I will give you some information uh, later on when you decide you have so much knowledge in this, uh, you can use it the other way. So if you want to get a da darker picture on, on this way, using it on TTL mode, you just have to deal with, uh, with this screen by lowering uh, lowering the exposure compensation button. Uh, if your image is uh, underexposed, just tweak it to plus, and if it's overexposed, tweak it to the lower uh, power of the flashes. And that is the whole thing. Uh, one of the common mistakes you will make with those TTL modes on your flashes is no matter how much I open my aperture or close my aperture, the results will remain the same. So if you're using your TTL, the automatic mode on your flashes, uh, most of the time you accidentally uh, change your aperture while using the camera. And I get a lot of questions, what is wrong with my images? Because the image is a little bit uh, too shallow. The depth of field is shallow. Uh, the thing is that you didn't notice that you 
accidentally change your aperture, but your flash, um, because it's in automatic mode, is decided for you how much power will you need for those kind of settings. So I will do it example. I will uh, put my camera on aperture f16 and make a photo I will put an aperture 22 and make a photo and I will put it even more closed uh, aperture so let's see what we get on the f16 and I'm still using my lens on manual mode and I will close down the aperture to f20 for example and make the photo and I will close it even more on F32. So if we look, I'm sorry. So if we look for the results, uh, you can see the settings of the camera. So this is the settings for F16 and the results for f20 and the results and f32 and the results and because i'm in automatic mode i'm always getting the right exposure image uh, the only difference would be in the shallow of the depth of field because in dental photography we want to use closer aperture because we want all the details and i will upload those photos so you can see the results so how can we use differently this flash if we going to use it in non-TTL mode or in manual mode? I can select the group B and put it on manual. And by default, this is the lowest uh, power of light that flash is going to give me, 128 of a maximum power. So I will max it up a little bit. I will use it in one quarter of the power. So I don't have to put anything on focal length because I'm telling the flashes how much power do I need. So it doesn't really matter what, what, is, the, um, what, what is the focal length in the settings. So I will put my flashes with a group button on group B, both of them. So the group A was in TTL mode, so and now the group B is in manual mode quarter of the maximum power of the flashes. The settings of the camera is still the same. 125 of a second for the shutter speed and 25 for the aperture. ISO remains the same, 200. Uh, and I will make this photo, uh, photo first using the manual um, focusing. And just note how much time do I need to, to focus this model. And to get this picture, And now I will turn my camera to autofocus. And I'm getting this picture. So they're almost about the same, but it took me a lot less time for focusing. And I know my focusing is better when I'm using the autofocus system. It doesn't really matter, just try it. Sometimes you don't have to use it in manual mode always. So, uh, what is the thing with the manual focus? Is my if my photo is overexposed, I will close down the aperture a little bit. Let's do this to make it f thirty two. And let's open up the aperture for f eighteen, for example. 16, sorry. So this is what I get. When I'm opening up my aperture, I'm letting the more lights come in. And when I'm closing my aperture, uh, my picture will be a uh, lot less overexposed, just underexposed. So th this is the way how I'm using it. I'm always using it on manual mode because uh, I sometimes see that my picture is underexposed, so I want to get a, uh, a little bit 
uh, more light to my picture so I open up the aperture because my flashes on manual mode are always got, giving me the same amount of flash so the same amount of light so in that way uh, I'm not letting my flash to think for me I'm just using my brain and my aperture to to keep the constant in my images because most of the time when you're working and when you're doing the dentistry you have so many obstacles around the patient's mouth so you have to think for yourself how to get the perfect image and for example how I use this flash personally I sorry let me, let me check the focus I set the group I will set the group C also manual mode and I will put it on 8 of the maximum power and let's see how what we get so I need to push this button to select the flashes on group C for both of them if I want to use it on my group C which is one eighth of a maximum power of the flashes so this is the picture that I'm getting with a with a f16 aperture and because this is a little bit too bright I want to tune it down a little by closing my aperture and I will take a picture of F22. And this is just the perfect image that I get. And you can see the difference. This is too bright. And when I'm getting the too bright picture, I close my aperture a little bit and I'm good. And that is the way I'm using these flashes. Hold on. And I didn't tell the, 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 the main thing. Why I'm using the groups on my flashes, I usually don't use the group with TTL at all. I'm just using it manual mode on one quarter of the maximum power, one eighth of the maximum power. Uh, what is the thing here? When I want to shoot a patient's uh, uh, portraits, I need a little bit more light for my flashes to help them because when I'm moving away from my subject the part of the flashes is going down because I'm moving away and so I use my flashes on the group where the one-fourth of the power of, of the maximum power of the flashes when I want to photograph some portraits and when I want to do intraoral photos I switch to another group which is on one-eighth of the seconds and so that can be easily done by pressing the group button and select the groups so the group A I put the settings on this flash to be in TTL mode and the group B is on one quarter of the power, maximum power of the flashes and the group C is one eighth of the maximum flashes so I can adjust their, their amount of light in a pressing of a button that is all. Thank you for watching.